Surprise, we finally finished the video blog that we released almost four years ago now. So for those of you that didn't see the part one to this series, I'm gonna give you the short version, but you should go watch it. Essentially, I covered the 2019 Canadian Grand Prix in Montreal, the one where Sebastian Vettel and Lewis Hamilton went wheel to wheel and Seb was given a time penalty and handing Lewis the race win. So I covered the 2019 Canadian Grand Prix. I flew straight from Montreal to Paris, France, where I then got on a train south to the 24 Hours of Le Mans, where I worked with my good friend James Moy, who's the team photographer for Toyota Gazoo Racing. And then on Monday morning after a good night's sleep from a very long race, I got in a car and drove to Germany with some friends where I covered the 24 hours of Nürburgring for my first time uh, working with Aston Martin. I've never been to the Norwich Life before. It's an absolutely daunting track. I've done the I've done Le Mans many times before this, but I had never done Nürburgring. And Nürburgring is a very special place for anybody that likes cars, anybody that likes racing. It's a historic track. I've never done the race before. So to be given the opportunity to cover the 24 hours of Nürburgring with uh, Aston Martin on behalf of Drew Gibson was something really special, but covering two 24 hours back to back is no joke. Like normally I need two weeks to recover from a 24 hour. It is that intense. It is that taxing on your body, your mind. Um, the workload is just like, I can't really describe how challenging it is. So having to do two back to back 24 hours pretty much nearly broke me. Um, but I did it and we finally finished part two of this video blog. I don't really have a good excuse for why it took so long other than I didn't do a very good job filming it. Essentially, I didn't record the first six hours of the Nürburgring. I don't know what happened to the footage. I, I, I know that I recorded it, but I maybe never ingested it or just written over the footage when I ingested it. I don't know, but either way, it just disappeared. We didn't have any way to tell the first part of the race. So my good friend, James Leitz, who's a videographer, photographer, graphic designer, um, and the guy that puts together a lot of my video blogs, we finally figured out how to tell this story in a way that made sense. So please, after four long years, enjoy part two to this video blog. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your support. And I hope you enjoy the video. This video is brought to you by Paddock Focus Motorsport Photography Workshops. Want to learn more about how to become a professional motorsport photographer or just take better racing images? Check out paddockfocus.teachable.com and use PF YouTube for 10% off. the Nordschleife Nürburgring and I've never been here before. This is pretty exciting because it's a new track. It's a new team that I'm working for. Um, Drew Gibson has kindly lent me Aston Martin racing while he's in Switzerland shooting Formula E, which is way more lame than this. I'm a little nervous just because I've never been here before. I've never done the Nürburgring. I've only driven it countless times on Project Gotham and Forza and project cars so it's a little different being here for real for the first time so it's uh it's gonna be a fun one i think this is gonna be a really challenging week i i don't know my way around this circuit which is slightly intimidating to me because having never been here i don't know how to get to these corners i don't know how to go different places so just simply getting on the scooter and going to to some of these iconic corners that I can't even pronounce is a little bit intimidating. So we'll see how this week goes. I'll, I'll take you along for as much of it as I can, but welcome to the Nürburgring.
doing right now. Just kind of driving out into the forest. I've got a map, but I honestly don't know how to get where I want to go, so we'll see. This is going to be interesting. This place is huge. I just can't even comprehend it. A few moments later. So that's a good start. I'm already going the wrong way. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going the right way now, so. More moments later. Here I am, out on the Nord Slide. Dream come true, really. It's uh, pretty wild. Can't wait to see the GT3 cars around here. Heading away from Hudsonbach and heading toward a sunset spot. Gotta go as fast as the scooter will go, which isn't very fast. And uh, the sun just popped out of the clouds, quite nice. Made some pretty front lit pictures. And now it's time to go make some back lit pictures. Campsites. It's so dark out here that it's not really much point in shooting cars themselves. Um, I haven't found any spots with lights, so that makes it a little challenging. So I'm gonna um, go get the tripod after I edit and come back out to this pretty much same spot and two or three others that I've kind of figured out that I want to shoot from and uh, see what we can do from that. But what an amazing sunset. That was, that was awesome. Doesn't get much better than that. So, love it. Uno, dos, Time to go at it. It's a little past 11, and uh, that means we're about eight hours into the race. And um, feel good. Knees are a little sore. Legs are tired. But sunset was amazing and it was fun editing those pictures so all good so far gonna head down to the garage and do some pit lane stuff one of the cars blew an engine um, and the other two are leading their class so who knows what's gonna happen we got a long way to go I've never seen a pit lane like this because they refuel 
with a regular gas tank nozzle in like these factory forces in Aston Martins. Like they just stick the gas handle in the hood and fuel it for what seems like forever. You can see it backlit. It's cool. It's really, really cool. Right, it's about 1 a.m. And I feel okay right now. But that's always how it goes. I feel like I can get through the night pretty easily. It's the first couple hours of the morning that are always the hardest. But surprisingly, I feel okay having done this exact same shit a week ago. So, anyway, I'm gonna go out in the forest and I'm going to do some long exposures, find some drunk people, some cool atmosphere, maybe a hot tub. Um, yeah, see what people are up to out there. Just wanna find some cool some cool spots to do long exposures. Even if I nail one, I think that'll be a, a success, but there's probably two places that I wanna hit. So we'll see. I wanna do one from the rear, one from the front. Uh, so you get the red tail lights when you're shooting from behind and then when you're shooting front you get the white headlights or yellow in a couple cars cases but yeah just gonna see what I can get out there but hoping not to get lost for the first time this week so check back shortly
Okay, it's 8.30 and um, I was having a lot of trouble staying awake editing so decided to come to the hotel which is conveniently at the track thanks to Aston Martin and uh, take a 45 minute nap and a shower and get some food and though I don't feel great I feel better than I did so onward with the day. but you can try um, but clean pictures without sponsor without sponsor bullshit is what I'm usually looking for so side for this year it's been amazing I love this race I can't tell you that enough it's awesome in every way possible so I'm gonna go back and edit and that'll take me about an hour and then uh, hang out on pit lane for the rest of it and try and get some pit stops in Time is 2.07 p.m., which means we have an hour and 23 minutes before this race is done. Which is good because it's gone a little bit cloudy and shit, so yeah, not amazing, but it's been a pretty good day, so can't complain. Looking forward to being in bed later though, so it's been a long three weeks before I shoot another six hours this weekend. Yeah. Seven days done. It does not feel great, but did it. Aston Martin won uh, their class, which is awesome. So just like to give some shout outs. Thank you to Drew for uh, loaning me your client for the weekend. I had a blast working with everybody. Um, it was a lot of fun to, to watch them win this, this incredible race. So also, thank you to Aston Martin, thank you to my wife Emily and James for letting me go on these adventures. Um, you know, I miss you guys, but it's hard being away from home, but it's also a job that I love. Uh, thank you to Brecht and Camden and Sam and and Marius and Zhao and everybody. There's I couldn't have made it through this week without the, the help and support of so many people from Fritz and... I, the list is honestly really long just for thank yous to showing me around and showing me where to go and how to get there and when to go there. It, you know, it's as photographers we rely on each other and so it 
you know, it makes a big world of difference when you can trust people and and have uh, a good group of friends as well. So I'm out. Yeah.